Lifty, I'll tell you what. I will take you out to Applebee's, which I might remind you, is the best restaurant to eat at God damn it! <laughs> Every single episode, you keep on fucking shilling for that fucking Applebee's. Me. Every single episode. <laughs> at this point, do it to piss with you off more than anything. It's hilarious. God damn it, Silox! Welcome to Very Frequencies. This is our 10th episode. Tonight, we have the lovely Lifty. Hello. And filling in for Sharky, we have Pilot. What's going on? He is our special guest for the evening. Yes, Welcome. yes Emphasis he is. Emphasis on special, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> so, on tonight's podcast, we have a bunch of wonderful topics, um, but let's first start off with the Sonic uh, trailer. I'm not sure if you guys have seen it or not. You probably have by now. Um, One word to describe that trailer. uh, Grotesque. Um, It is a very grotesque trailer and not in the way you would think with what the word (laughs) grotesque means. Um, It's probably, in my opinion, one of the worst trailers I have ever seen for a movie. I have no idea why Gangster's Paradise was even used <laughs> i was i'm saying the same thing coolio is probably looking at this and was like the fuck is this i know they paid us to you know put the they paid him to put that in there but then he's watching this and i'm like he's horrified he's going up and this and like what the fuck is this out of all the unfitting music that the uh, producer could have possibly chosen for that 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 trailer that was probably like number two actually like, you know what would have made it better if it was Amish Paradise instead of Gangsta's Paradise. Oh, boy. <laughs> that would have made it ten times better. It would have fit way better than Gangsta's Paradise. I mean, I'm not knocking Coolio because Coolio is amazing. But give the leave the man with respect for his magnum opus. Damn it. That was his magnum opus. No, you're not wrong. I, I think that they really did him bad with that trailer. And by the way, this isn't the first time that, um, what's his face? James Marsden. I can't pronounce his last name. Um, the lead, well, I don't even think he's the lead. I think Jim Carrey is going to be the one to carry this movie. He but, don't um, carry that weight. Oh, yeah, he is. <laughs> and <laughs> Yeah, but like Jim Carrey um, playing Eggman, it's a great fit. But I, the, the whole time I'm watching this movie, because I'm, I'm going to go see it in theaters no matter what um, and, and laugh my ass off. But uh, the whole time that Jim Carrey is playing his persona as Dr. Eggman, I can't, just can't help but think that he's just playing Jim Carrey. And that's it. Like in my humble opinion, I think that the, it's just going to be Jim Carrey impersonating Jim Carrey for the entire role (laughs) well see that's what's so great about jim carrey jim carrey makes every role himself he he owns the role like he did it in the mask he did it with ace ventura he did it with was he was he the uh the riddler in the batman film yes he was yes he he made it he 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 made it his own and that's that's perfect when it comes to acting in my view when you can take a take a role and just own it that's what that's what made Heath Ledger like such an endearing actor. It, it wasn't even his death. People loved what they saw when he acted because he made that role. He owned it. And I'm going to take another shot here. Actually, oh do we want to do we want to open this up to a here drinking we game? Go. Well, I mean, I've already started with one shot. So, I mean, <laughs> do we want to open it up to a drinking game? Yeah, we need to do like a uh, banned words list. Like if you say the word um, um, there we go. If you say the word um, you take a shot. That's a great oh idea. I don't yeah, have enough alcohol be, in this house for that drinking game. I'm just going to choose my so words much very wisely. If you guys do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I um, when it comes to the Sonic movie, I watched the trailer twice. The mm-hmm. first time, I didn't even finish the trailer. And then I went back a couple days later and watched it to the end. And then at the end of it, I was wondering, why did I do that? What possessed me to completely watch that? There was nothing of value in the part that I missed. Why the hell did I need to watch it? Well, <laughs> it's, it's a spectacular train wreck. 
And oh my god, yes, we love train wrecks as humans. So I don't know about you all, but if I see a train wreck, I'm going to stop and watch. And that was a spectacular train wreck. So yeah, yeah, I think but it's like your is... morbid curiosity that just that, that took effect. You're like, all right, I need to I need to take a moment just to to mull over what I just watched. And then at that point, you came back to it. You're like, you know what? This has to be done. I need to finish what I started. No, no, no. For me. I thought it was like, well, maybe there's something redeeming in the part that I missed. That's maybe your first something. <laughs> yeah, there, there we go. It's like maybe something. Maybe Jim Carrey will come out with like a really quippy one-liner, and it'll be like, oh yeah, he's gonna carry this entire movie. Oh, I feel so bad for him. <laughs> but no, nothing. Not yeah. nothing redeeming. Not oh, even. Boy. Not even. A cam, not even uh, a little uh, a shot at Chris Chan for being a Sonic <laughs> fan or whatever. Nothing, oh, nothing. My. There was if nothing they, redeeming. If they had done that, I think that would have made my entire day. If they had actually done that, yes, and put a shot out at Chris Chan. Oh God, <laughs> <laughs> amazing. I don't know. I feel like this entire trailer was like a shot at Chris Chan. It was probably directed by Chris Chan himself. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that wouldn't surprise me. Uh, Considering how just so janky and cringy the dialogue is, it would not surprise me at all. That and they made Sonic an electric hedgehog. So they had to have gotten inspiration for that from somewhere. It couldn't just like pop out of from thin air. But also, let's talk about the design of Sonic in that trailer because... After people have seen the trailer and promptly shown their disgust of Sonic in uh, forums and on Reddit and on the YouTube comments, they decided to go back and change the design. They're going to go back and completely change the design of Sonic in time for the movie. Oh boy! God, God bless them. They're going to yeah. try to make. They're going to try to polish a turd here. <laughs> I think they pulled a Bethesda is what they did. They're like, hey, we're going to release this preemptively to, to garner as much attention as possible. And then oh. after that, we're just going to kind of recede into our own little production hall and say, oh, we can fix this. We Guys, we can fix this. Let's have a team meeting. Everyone bring the Starbucks. We're going to make this look better so that we can bring the, cr the rest of the crowd back in that left us. Yeah. But um, the facial features <laughs> kind of look like, uh, for Sonic at least, it kind of looks like he was designed from the same team that made Annoying Orange. <laughs> in my, in my humble opinion, like <laughs> <laughs> no, they were terrible, and the people who made the edits to it on Twitter even showed you it's possible with the technology we have to make Sonic more cartoon-like and more appealing to the eye. As it stands now, he's just so it would idiot. surprise. I, I it would not like surprise me design. if they uh, if they took inspiration from Sonic from Clutch Cargo or something. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, it was terrifying, and um, I just I thought it was so funny. Like they they could have just made these small changes, but I think my favorite fan rendition was the Nicolas Cage one. Have you guys seen that one? No. Yes, I've seen that one. Oh my gosh! I, I'll I, need, to I need a link to that. Yeah, I'll on. send it to you on Telegram. It's um, it, it's it's fitting. That's all I'm gonna say. It's fitting. Awesome. Yeah. But this isn't like this isn't the first time we've seen movie um, studios go with lifelike renditions of um, cartoon uh, characters. You had, I think it was Michael Bay. I'm not sure about this, but I think he was one who directed the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The one with, I think that was Megan Fox. I don't remember, but the just yeah, the physical the characteristics of that were just so disgusting, and it's like. You could have made this using animation. You didn't have to make it so. Well, they did. Actually, they did. They remember the three G, the the three D, or the uh, the computer rendered um, CGI three D film that they made prior to that. Sorry, I, I think the booze is kicking in. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Hey, you know how to help that? You know what to do? More booze. Yeah, More exactly. Booze. Take another shot. I already poured my <laughs> second shot, okay? Give it a minute to digest. Oh, okay. Boy. All right, I'll give you a minute. It's 58, 57. Um, you know what you should do, by the way? Here should have, you know, 
con- group consensus here. Our drinking game for tonight should be anytime that we talk about alcohol, we need to take a drink. I'm down with that. I'm down with that. Because it's going to happen. Okay, so... <laughs> But yeah, no, I I don't know why studios feel the need to even go down this route when it comes to CGI. Cer- certain things don't need to be made lifelike. It's just not pleasing to the overall eye. Um, notorious for that was definitely, I think it was Polar Express. The one where, with that kid who's annoying that's become a meme. Um, that had terrible CGI, and it was so lifelike. And with this, it's like... There's no need to make him so detailed and hideous. You could have made him a cartoon character. Okay, in that style. I have um, some. I have some information on that uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie that you were referencing. Now, the mm-hmm. movie that you were referencing was released in 2014, and it was directed by Jonathan Liebesman. Um, let me see I don't what know else who he. That is. Well, let me see who, what else he uh, he directed. Okay, so he directed uh, Darkness Falls, Battle Los Angeles. Oh God. Gen- what? Genesis and Catastrophe, which is about Hitler. <laughs> okay, um, I don't. This don't even... this guy. Oh my God, this guy. Oh, Wrath of the Titans. Oh, another bad movie. Okay. Texas Chainsaw Massacre at the beginning. Uh, another bad movie. Um, yeah, so he's got, <laughs> quite a, he's got quite a repertoire. No, when you said Battle Los Angeles, I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, that was a terrible movie. Have you heard of gotcha. the Shannara Chronicles? It's a TV series. He directed two episodes in 2016. Nope, never heard of that one. Uh, well, probably because it was so bad, you never heard of it. That explains a lot. That explains a lot. But um, I don't know why I thought Michael Bay actually directed a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie. Um, I don't know. But yeah, with that, again, there was no need to go lifelike. Just come on now. These well, people I, have got to be smarter than that. Isn't it cheaper to do CGI and um, green screen animation? Um, I don't know. I, I'm, that's not what I've sure. heard. That's I'm not what I sure. I've heard, actually. It probably is, considering all the time it takes to um, do animated movies, because you got to get, you know, uh, get everything squared away with that. Uh, it might be cheaper, but I just think for certain instances, when it comes to cartoons, lifelike CGI just isn't the way to go. It's it's too much. Okay, Silox, I'm going to test you for a minute. Oh, Lord. Did they use lifelike CGI on Avengers Endgame? Come on, be honest. CGI. Oh, see, but see, that's different. Those weren't cartoon characters where they got super detailed with how they look. That's different. They got super detailed on Thanos' ass as soon as Ant-Man went up there, right? <laughs> oh, my <laughs> Lord. <laughs> No comment on that. You can bleep uh, that out, right? <laughs> yeah. No, I think yeah. that was one of the uh, one of the fourteen million universes that uh, Doctor Strange had saw, but he didn't want to tell um, Iron Man at that point. He's like, I'm not gonna. He was just thinking in the back of his mind, he's like, we can't make this happen. <laughs> 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 there has to be another way. <laughs> yeah, but no. Um, speaking of in game, it yeah the gra- the CGI on that is phenomenal. Um, I don't know if you two have seen it yet, but it's well worth the three hours at the movie theater. Trust me on that. It's well worth it. Hey, Silox, if you can give me a ride to the movie theater, I will watch it with you in 3D. How about that? Oh, God, I'll, pay, I'll pay for your ticket, too, because wow. you th- wow. th- that's payback for taking me to Metro 29. Wow, that's but like... I'm, I know I'm going to get like really, really fucked up right now. Because I've already taken two shots at Canadian Mist, so there's Psylocks. no going back. Any there promise? is no way I'm going to take a midnight show into Endgame right oh, now. God. Yeah, but any promise that he says while he's drunk is completely valid. You should write it down to cash in at a later date. That's not <laughs> a bad idea. I'm going to do that, actually. 
because he says some really strange things when he's drunk. So. Yeah, it's it's been record it's being recorded, so it's even better. It's like you have yes. validation. Yes. Can I say that I'm under duress now? No. <laughs> <laughs> no you just did. Fuck you. <laughs> you can't just ask a question and answer it on the spot. That's not how this works. <laughs> what? That isn't how this works? Yeah. That's not, that's not how any of this works? No. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Hey, oh. don't make promises you can't keep. Well, no, seriously. Silox, if you want to come down here and pick me up and we can watch Endgame together, 3D, I will pay for your ticket. And that'll be, that will settle, that will settle what we have for taking me to Metro 29. I would, but God, I am so tired. I know I'm going to cash that promissory note of yours in at a later time. There we go. Ah, that's, that's a one night only. No. You can't make voucher rules. You're not a coupon yeah. yes. company. Get out of no, here. No, 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 no. It doesn't no. work like that, man. No, absolutely, it absolutely works like that because, see, I can go any oh, time, any other time. I can go watch Endgame. I'm not going tonight because I'm getting drunk. I've already <laughs> had two shots, and somebody's going to pull me over as soon as I get my car and drive to Endgame. Take the Metro. Oh, I can't take the Metro. They're take not going to pick me up. They're not going to pick me up at 3 in the morning. Oh, yes, they are. You won't know until you try. I Metro's was that Uber driver. not going to pick me up at 3 in the morning. Oh, yeah. No, they will. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, boy. oh my God! Have you ever been on the last train on Metro? Yes, it is that apocalyptic. Was, it really is. It's that was actually my worst drinking experience I've ever had in my entire life. I got kicked out of uh, I think it was Town. You guys remember Town, the gay club in DC? Yes, yes, yeah. we do got, remember Town. I got uh, yeah, rest, rest, rest in, in peace. peace. Yeah, we have a moment of silence. Okay, there we go. All right, so um, I was kicked out of Town uh, because I got like top ten wasted. Uh, one of my friends. Uh, his buddy is like a, he's like a field agent in the FBI. And mm-hmm. He's also like a certified bartender too. So he had the bartender at town like make this wickedly strong drink that was 100% alcohol, and he gave it to me while I was already really drunk. And it's like, hey, you should drink this. And then as I gulped it down, you know, just chugging it, he's like, but don't drink it all at once. And I'm like, well, that's stupid. Why would you say that as I just drank it? <laughs> um, sure enough, that drink ended up all over the bathroom. And I had the bouncer lead me downstairs and literally throw me out on the curb. And at that point, uh, one of my good buddies that I was I was hanging out with, Jonathan, he uh, came and saw me curled up on the street corner like a homeless person, just like curled up in a fetal position, like trying to nurse into myself into sobriety. And he just kicked me. And he started kicking me like all over. He's like, get the hell up, man. What are you doing? This is D.C. <laughs> What the fuck? Yeah, so then I had to ride the Metro back. That was the longest Metro ride I think I've ever had in my life. <laughs> <laughs> it felt like seven hours. Jesus. No, oh, I, I'll tell you, when I rode the last Metro into uh, D.C., it was actually, like, really scary because you had Metro police on the train, and they were going to every station – and they were like corralling everyone into the train, every single person, even the hobos on the benches that were sleeping on <laughs> the benches. They were going to the benches. They were beating on the benches. And said, hello, hello, is this your train? Get on the train. Get on the train. Oh, oh my God. It was like the world was ending. So what they were doing is they were essentially saying like, hey. All those tents that you have set up right next to the police headquarters on, like, D Street and 3rd. Yeah, you guys need to, like, go back to your tents. (laughs) (laughs) It's so mean, but it's so true. Yeah, but... DC cops are relentless. Well, it wasn't DC cops, per se. It was Metro cops, which I guess are... Metro police. Yeah, Metro police are kind of really, really... Yeah, yeah, they're something. They're like the mall mall cops of the underground. (laughs) That they don't ride in segways. No, they don't. But if they I could, would love they would. To see, I would love to see a Metro cop on a segway on an escalator going down to the station. I would give $100 at least to see that happen. Yes, I would too. Oh, my God. Um, how did we get here? I, I forgot how we got here. I blame you. Well, I, I'm the one who's drunk here. Yeah, that's why I blame you. It's yeah. your fault. No. 
been only oh, 20 minutes and boy. suddenly I'm, I've only had my second shot. Yeah, just I a... think while uh, Pada was saying his, uh, his story, uh, you could probably hear me pour the next shot <laughs> into my shot glass. I heard it. Yeah. I did hear it. Oh, boy. Uh, so, speaking of town, I know he mentioned town, so let's talk about another nightclub another yes. lgbt nightclub that has just opened up it is the baltimore eagle it is back up and running after yeah. almost a year of being closed and guess what what on the fifth like... for cinco de mayo they are opening up the floor to furry night all over again at the baltimore eagle everybody's excited hell yeah it's gonna be awesome everybody everybody is hyped to go and suit up and mingle with other furries i'm gonna be going because i have clef and clef is just dying to go out and mingle with other furries again mingle is a really fun word for being in a jock strap and dancing up on people but you know I is that what you do I mean, I'm just saying that's that's kind of the hint that you're giving out. It's the Baltimore Eagle. It's yeah, a spicy club. Do. I mean, I can do it. I got a jock strap for Clef, just for Clef. Oh, he doesn't. Really? It, it doesn't match his colors, but it's a jock strap. I mean, you can wear it with anything and still look sexy. Very nice. Yeah, it looks like I'm reading some of the information right now too. So Sunday they'll be having a DJ starting at 4 p.m. Mm -hmm. There's no cover, which is awesome. Yeah. Going back to the Eagle standards. Uh, let's see. Cinco de Mayo, a.k.a. Cinco de Drinco, drink specials. In effect, $5 margaritas. And, you know, I'm sure there's like rails and, you know, drafts and stuff like that. Um, also, the upstairs lounge, where usually we get changed for fursuiting, uh, will be, again, exclusive to Fur Up Baltimore, which is the Baltimore Eagle event. And mm -hmm. uh, they're trying to provide a complimentary bottle of some type upstairs, like last time, too. So, awesome. Bottle of what? I don't know. I actually I don't remember because I don't think I was at the last one before it closed. See, I, I'm a little scared of getting drunk in fursuit because when you fursuit, you get very hot and you want to be hydrated as you fursuit. So when you drink alcohol, it doesn't really work with your hydration. So mm -hmm. true. Um I'm just afraid that if I get really drunk, I'm just going to get really drunk really fast because all the water is just wicking off my skin while I'm in the fursuit and it's nothing but alcohol. And I'm just be like, whoa, yeah. Oh, fuck. I got to puke. <laughs> oh, my God. I would pay to see that. And a oh, God, no. Weird, morbid curiosity. I don't I do not want to see any fursuiter puke in their fursuit or well just even you, even worse even worse you drink, it's puke in their fursuit head and have all the puke just like ooze out of their fursuit head that would be gross that would basically guarantee that that fursuit is no longer usable you know what um yeah that's that's not like i mean if someone pukes in the back seats of your car like that that stench is lingering uh, i wouldn't want to like have that in my fursuit head i would just at that point i'd be like all right it's time to it's time to build a new it's time to start over it's time to give your fursuit a viking funeral <laughs> see you, you mentioned back seats of cars and weird smells i had a local baby fur who i took to an event he um unfortunately oh, here we go. fortunately <laughs> he uh wet himself in his diaper and it seeped into the back seat of my car so to this day, the back seat kind of does smell like urine, unfortunately, and I can't get the smell out. Oh Jesus! Yeah, he hasn't apologized at all, at all. So uh, like he thinks that's normal, right? He it's does. Normal. It's he normal does. to just <laughs> see. This is just like a bad Seinfeld episode. Remember Poppy from Seinfeld, where oh, Poppy God. would sit back on 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 uh, Jerry's couch, and he just like. He just sat back and he's like, ah. And then Jerry was like, you comfortable, Poppy? And he's like, yeah. And then, and then after Poppy leaves, he's like, oh, my God. Poppy <laughs> peed on my couch. 
<laughs> Poppy peed on the sofa. <laughs> uh, mm. We need some some slap bass in this episode right now. <laughs> yeah, you can put that in there. <laughs> yeah, totally. Because uh, this is, that I'm sorry that that story is just like a really bad Seinfeld episode. <laughs> It, it you know what it's not even the worst thing that's happened to me with a fur before so um, what's the worst thing oh god um i think i told this story at uh furthermore the um the the dumb panel i did oh well i think I yeah told you that i forgot yeah, well you 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 were kind of the ringleader for that uh panel, yeah but that i don't the... remember your stories except for the one that where the furry peed in your car i'm sorry <laughs> What? <laughs> the baby fur peed in his car. Yeah, yeah. That's wait. Hold on. That doesn't make any sense. Did it go all over your seats and stuff? Yes. No, he no he wet his diaper and okay. that seeped into the seat. Oh, uh, okay. Wow. You sh- you know you should tell him you should be like, hey, the di- the brand of diapers that you're buying are shit. You should feel <laughs> like shit. <laughs> Great value brand diapers do not work for you. He oh, probably I'm, didn't get them from Great Value. That's I, I, a fucking <laughs> horrible badge name in the making, too. Great Value Dipes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, I didn't feel sick to my stomach until now, so I better start, you know, better keep drinking. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that's how that works, right? Yep, I guess. Yeah. Ugh. Here we go. See the problem is I have, I have, one of my roommates has a twelve pack of Heineken in the refrigerator, and I can't tell whose Heineken that is, so I can't ask, I can't just ask somebody, hey, is this your Heine? Sure can you I drink can. from your Heine? That's the you can. I'll pay you back. Just I'll okay. pay you back. Be weird about it. Yeah. Well, that's what they call it, right? Heine? No. no. What would they call it? Heineken. Well, that's what they called in the Austin Powers movie. They called it, hey, lay off my Heine. And it's like, oh, yeah, she's holding a Heineken. Yeah. You are, you are going to get me too one day by asking somebody, can I drink from your Heine? Don't, please don't do that. I'm not going to do that. Of course not. Okay. That was a different time back then, too. That was like 1967. <laughs> and then sure. your time Let's warped to 1997. <laughs> oh, man. I'm just disappointed in myself not you i'm just disappointed in myself for not stopping this before it it continued down this this snowball trail of fuckery (laughs) it is going to get worse before it gets better just don't mention virginia to him because then he'll go on and on and on about arlington and it's like please we get it you love arlington just stop talking about it i'm going to i'm going to make one remark which you know i am moving to arlington so yeah! Oh, I know, I know. It's yeah! great. Awesome. It's great. I, I am so excited to my um to I'm roommates. going to be mailing your certificate of coming to Arlington in about three to five business days as soon as you come here. What? Yes. This is a thing? Yes. Oh god. Okay. And then he can join the Arlington first chat and this grab is, a bunch of that's grab a, a bunch thing? of Wait, that's a thing? Yes. Yes. That will be a, a oh, real thing. Wow. Wait, that um, will be a real thing or it is a thing? No, because... no, 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 no. It is a real thing, but I mean, I need to make a logo for. Oh, oh my man. gosh! So what you're going to do is you're going to get like everyone you know from Arlington. You're going to like message, uh, like Rudy, for example, and like you know. Well, we got a strong group of five. 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 Nice. Way to go! You know what? That's almost six. Congratulations! Yay! Good job, Yay. champ. You're getting there. Yeah, you're getting there. Yeah. You're doing no, good in life. Be, no, no, no. We're going to be better than Nova First because Nova First suck. Yeah, we might get seven people in a year. <laughs> uh, wouldn't that be great? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> hey, man, it's America. You can do whatever you shit. want, man. Do what you got to do. No, no, no. There'll be Arlington First and then there's everything else. And then everything else just doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, can I join Arlington First? Yeah, sure. You want to come to Arlington? Come to Arlington. Uh, I'm not moving there, but yeah, I'll come to Arlington. Why not? Well, come to Arlington for pancakes and fursuiting. And... I do. I do. Okay. Okay. Very good. Very good. Where do you live, Silex? Are you in Maryland? Yes. So I live in Southern Maryland um, in a place in called Somd? Southern. I know. Southern Maryland, S-O-M-D, Somd. Oh, 
Oh, it just, it I just see sounds really, oh, it just sounds really solid. I see yeah, what you I did there. Yeah, I thought I missed that something. Okay, like I'm going to take another shot. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I, I Here he goes. Uh, don't Wait, um, yourself. What are you doing a shot? Oh, oh Lord. Kill Jesus. Himself. That Canadian mist does not go down smoothly. God no. damn it. Lifty, what are you, what are you taking a shot of? Canadian mist whiskey. Okay, so that's two shots. There are no, two that's drinks three. you have to take now. No, there's no, two that's drinks three. you have to do because you just said that C missed word twice. We have a rule about alcohol. Hey, what? Yeah. Oh, I'm enforcing fuck. it. I know. I'm cashing in. Fuck, man. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pour, I'm going to pour the elixir. There we go. And I'm running out of Dr. Pepper, too, so I need a... God damn it. Well, I got another soda up, wow, up in the fridge. really so quiet in I'll here. I'll probably open that for... Um, um, I think um, Silox left or got disconnected. Well, no. Give it a minute. He'll he'll come Hello? right back. Um, We were talking about drinking, and it randomly cut out. <laughs> oh yeah, I was, I was pouring. I was pouring an elixir into a flask, uh -huh. and um, then it just uh, decided that uh, we were going to do a drinking game in which, if you name an alcohol, you have to take shots. So oh, you gotta I'm take another drink. No, 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 no. We are not no, doing it off to... air. No, 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 no. You have to name the specific name of the alcohol that you are drinking. Oh, I just thought it was so, alcohol in general. No. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say things like elixir or water of <laughs> of barley or something. Water something of barley. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> See, yeah, have you ever played you the game? Uh... You can't name you can't name any actual alcohol. Like if it's a name of an alcohol, of of a certain brand of alcohol, you can't say it. If you say it, you have to drink. Okay. See, I'm playing by wisest wizards rules, where like you know when you're when you're playing that game and you're like chugging beer and stuff. If you if you say that you're drunk, or you say you're drinking alcohol, um, instead of saying that you're wise, like oh I'm feeling wise instead of I'm feeling drunk, then you have to basically like I think you have to drink or I forgot. It's been a while since I played that game, but. Um, any mention of alcohol or beer or drunkenness or anything like that sets you back. I see. Okay. So, anyway, moving on. Um, what were we talking about before we uh, got disconnected? We were talking about stuff. Drinking. Stuff and things. <laughs> literally, we were, good, no, literally, we were talking Take about it. that. Take what? God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> I swear to God. You got to be subject to the rules, too, if I have to be subject to the rules. Yeah. Wait, Silox, what did you say? I said drinking. I didn't say an alcohol. Uh -huh. oh, did you really? Okay, well, yeah. then you have to take another one, so oh, go ahead. Fuck, man. I don't have to. Oh, I know. You don't have to. <laughs> but trust me, I'm on your ass, too. Just you wait. <laughs> uh, all Feeling wild wise right now. is shit, first and foremost. <laughs> I don't even care that there's a husky... On the label. It is just shit. It's bland. It's flat shit. What are you drinking? You said it. <sighs> what are you consuming? I am consuming stuff. Damn it. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> so before I get a little too out of Rowdy. my faculties to actually discuss this, let's discuss travel tips before I lose my mind. <laughs> so, um, FWA is coming up in a few, it's like next week, right? 
Yes, it is. Yes, it is next week. Um, it's going to be a little too late to actually consume this information and actually make it work for you for FWA. But Anthrocon is right around the corner. It's in July 4th through the 7th. Yes, it is. So. It's near fast. Yeah. People are still looking for hotels for Anthrocon. And I'm here to tell you that you have no fear. You can still get a hotel room for a decent price if you follow our tips here. And, of course, we are in the business of saving you money on convention trip planning. So we want you to profit and make sure that you're spending more money on convention merch and art and pup hoods and... uh, and all that other and whips and chains and dildos and what and uh, and harnesses and all that other fun stuff that you buy at, at, at furry conventions. They have those at Anthrocon? Are you serious? I'm pretty sure they do. I don't know. It's they had Anthrocon. them. At, they had. They like, had them. They had. At, they had them at FWA. It's it's like the Disney of fur cons. I don't think that they have that not they safe had for them work at stuff FWA, at and they had them at <laughs> mff so i would not i've oh. never been to anthrocon so i wouldn't ex- i that's it right wouldn't surprise me oh, you've never been to ac before he's such no. a pleb look every furry in their life has to make a pilgrimage to the furry mecca which is ac no 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 no. that is where you are wrong mr pilot the Here furry mecca is MFF. Well, do tell me how i'm wrong the furry mecca is MFF. That's why it's, it's MFF. It stands Incorrect. for Mecca for Furries. Well, you named it that. That doesn't mean no, it's No, that's true. what it stands for. What? No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. It makes perfect sense. It's Midwest Fur Fest. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> it's Have you been mecca to MFF? for Furries. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. No. no. <laughs> Hold on. No, Hold on. I've, actually, so you're... I've, I've, I've actually been to MFF. Have you? Okay. What's, what hotel did you stay at? The Renaissance. Okay. Yes, it is at the very... Okay, let me tell you about the Renaissance. Uh Uh-huh. Okay. And this is buyer beware, because the tips that I'm going to say after this, they might book you into this hotel, but I'm saying you right now, be very vigilant Mm -hmm. and hope to God and Allah and Vishnu and every other God that you believe in. Pray to them. That you do what not if I don't believe in God? Well, well, Why you gotta, wh- well pray you to Carl Sagan, okay? Pray to Carl Sagan. I don't want to pray to a dead guy. That's weird. God damn it. It's like praying to God. Why fine, do fine. Fucking pray to Chris Chandler for, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I don't would care. I pray to him? <laughs> I don't care. Hell, you. Oh, God. Hell, Chris Chan actually tweeted, you can pray to me too if you want. But anyway, I digress. Uh. I digress. So I stayed in the Renaissance for uh, for MFF 2017. Mm-hmm. And the Renaissance itself is a great hotel. It was an awesome hotel. They uh, they the the service was top notch. It it felt it really did feel like a four-star hotel. Mm-hmm. Everything was comfortable, everything was plush, everything was well made, even the toilet, the toilet paper. It was folded. The corners of the toilet paper piece at the end were folded in, and they imprinted an R on the end of the toilet paper. I never saw that before. I think that's amazing that they would do that, that they would actually take that extra step to make you feel comfortable and actually imprint their logo on something that you would wipe your ass on. So You hear that? The Renaissance motto. Wipe your ass with the renaissance. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the one and only thing that I have against the renaissance at O'Hare. And this is a big one. Because if you look at a map of the renaissance and the Hyatt Regency O'Hare, mm-hmm. they are actually on the same road. However... There is a massive nature reserve separating both hotels. And to get around that nature reserve takes at least 15 minutes by car. 
Like to get from one end of Bryn Mawr <laughs> Avenue to the other takes 15 fucking minutes. And that's if you're taking it by car. If you're taking by the CTA blue line that goes to O'Hare, that'll take you about seven to 10 minutes, depending on you know how, what time you get there and how long the um, how long it takes for the blue line to get to from the road. Oh, that hotel point. is way out. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but yeah, it, just as an exercise, just go ahead and look up the Renaissance. Oh no. Um, O'Hare far. Hotel. And yeah, you'll you'll see it's on the same road as the very mm-hmm. same hotel that you're going to for MFF, but there's a huge there there's literally a <laughs> river and woods separating the two. I'm oh. like, what the fuck? That's awesome. What is the no, what is the actual <laughs> what in the actual fuck is going on here? No, you have to go over the river and through the woods to, you know, Graham. That was the actual house. joke. That was the actual joke that we all had when uh, when I was staying there. Because I'm like, hell no, I'm not doing this in fursuit. I mean, I might be a wolf in fursuit, but fuck that. It's speaking of which, if you I'm are gonna going take to a AC fucking Uber, fuck and it. you're like looking at hotels last minute, and you're like, oh, okay, I'm a fursuiter, and the Wyndham is open. As soon as you see that W for Wyndham, turn away. Because unless you're planning on taking a taxi or an Uber to the con every single time, Mm-hmm. Um, which costs like anywhere from you know five to twenty bucks, depending on if you're doing taxi or Uber. Yeah. Just don't even consider it because it is a horrible walk. It's like over a mile to walk in July in fursuit. You will be destroyed by the time you get Ooh, there. Oh yeah, not worth it. So let me get back to the the travel tips. So we just mentioned the Renaissance. Now it is very possible to get the Renaissance if you're booking hotels for MFF. So here's what I implore you to do if you are searching for hotels for Anthrocon or MFF or any other convention that's coming up on the horizon, except for FWA because you're kind of too, you're too late for that. I'm sorry. You can't save any money getting a hotel for FWA this late in, in, in the game unless you room with someone else. So here's what I suggest you do. Go to a site called hotwire.com. They have been here for years. And it is actually surprising to me how few furries know about Hotwire. They do a thing called the Hotwire Effect, where they offer a hot rate for hotels, Mm. flights, car rentals, you name it. And the trick is that they will offer a rock bottom rate, but they will not tell you the name of the hotel until after you book. Okay? True. So you you kind of playing a little bit of Russian roulette. Yeah. When you do that. Uh, but, 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 here's the big but. You can actually guess with a high degree of certainty which hotel you will be placed in because the uh, TripAdvisor reviews are going to be the same as the hotels that they list for the hot rate the hot rate and the list of the hotels that you, that they list, they'll be the mm-hmm. same. And uh, the amenities between the hot rate hotel and the hotels that they list, that will also be the same. And also you might see that the prices before the hot rate are almost the same as the prices that they offer for the guaranteed room that you are staying in by knowing the hotel. So, if you are willing to do a little bit of homework, you can actually save a ton of money on hotels. You could save a... Well, I don't know if this works well on flights because they're a little trickier on flights. But when it comes to hotels, you could save a ton of money. And now, when it comes to hotels for the hot rate, it only really works if you are ready to... Put, a, put some money down on a single room with a single bed. It doesn't really matter if you're filling up that room with four, five, six furries. It doesn't matter. But you do have to remember it's going to be for a single room and a single bed occupancy. So you got to take that into account. It's also non-refundable and non-cancelable. So 
if you buy the hot rate at Hotwire for a hotel, you're locked in. You, you can't back out. They're giving you a rock bottom rate. You can't get that anywhere else, not even from the hotels themselves. But so, at the same time, you know, you're saving a ton of money. So let me ask you this. Yeah, go ahead. When are you starting your own travel agency for furries? Because I mean, I can start as early as now. <laughs> if furries oh, want to, if furries want to have me help them book their hotel room and you know for money, I'll go ahead and put a ten percent um, charge on on the lowest hot wire rate that I can find for them on top of the room. Then yeah, we can make something work, and we can make them. And you'd still be saving a ton of money. Oh, you'd at least be saving a ton money. of money. You'd be saving at least a ton of money against the room block rate for the overflow hotels. Now, if you have your heart set on the main hotel, oh, or if you have your heart set on a two-room suite with all these amenities, this and that and whatnot, the hot wire hot rate will not be for you. I'm sorry, but it won't work for you. You will get burned. But if you just want a place to stay mm -hmm. and you just want a bed, one bed, the hot wire hot rate can work for you tremendously. And I highly guarantee it. I mean, I highly recommend it. That's pretty good, too. It's yeah. also a really good flight service, too. Um, have you guys ever heard of Skip Lagged? Yes. No, I yeah. haven't. Go it's ahead. like it's like my go-to. So with flights and stuff, don't quote me on this because it might have changed. But um, with flights, typically if you book anywhere from like five to seven weeks out on a Thursday morning at six in the morning is mm -hmm. when a lot of the flight algorithms for like the airline companies will actually reset. Um, I think that's what the time that was told to me was, and I've, I've done it without fail. It's always been giving me good prices. But um, you know, if you use like Google Flights and Skip Lagged, which is spelled S K I P. L A G G E D dot com. Mm -hmm. yep. um, you'll find like a bunch of like hidden city ticketing flights and like last minute flights for really good prices, which is like how I've been able to fly for like a hundred bucks from like the East Coast um, in DC all the way to California round trip on American Airlines. Oh, sweet. Yeah, so I mean, there's really good deals. You can do that for cons, um, especially since, you know, cons are only for a weekend and a lot of weekend rates aren't that bad, especially if you're turning on Monday or Tuesday. Yeah. So yeah, that's definitely. really good. That's a really good tip. Thank you. Yeah. The so, one thing you want to watch out for though, when you're using that kind of service is that, um, you know, the hidden city ticketing, what that means is that if you're trying to book a flight, let's just say you're going to AC and there's a flight that leaves from Chicago to Pittsburgh and you're trying to look for a flight like that. Um, instead of it being Chicago to Pittsburgh, there might be a cheaper fare that's Chicago to like, you know, let's just say Philadelphia. And Pittsburgh will be the stop in between. That would be your first leg, first mm -hmm. and last leg. So then yeah. what will happen is that, you know, you get off on that flight and then you book another one way back and it'll save you like 100 or 200 bucks. Just be careful with that because sometimes they do change based on weather and certain circumstances. They may change uh, that leg so it would be a different um, you know, different layover. I got stuck in Southern California trying to get to FC one year uh, when I was trying to fly up to uh, San Jose, and so I had to b book a Virgin Air ticket last minute, which was you know, ended up being more ooh. expensive. <laughs> yeah. So speaking of flights, I also want to bring up another uh, saving tip for um, anybody that's living within driving distance to several. Uh, airports now we in the dc metro area we are blessed because we have three airports to choose from we have reagan national in arlington we have dulles international in dulles and we have baltimore washington international in glen burnie so you have three different options for lower fares on any flights you desire and you can practically go wherever you want in america from any of those three airports. So that means that there is a thing that you can do called hacker fares. And um, I know uh, Kayak does this a lot to save people money. They do a lot of hacker fares so that um, they can offer a lower price. Now, how it works is that you can 
basically go from, let's say you wanted to go to Chicago for MFF. Mm -hmm. You can take a hacker fair from Arlington to Chicago via LaGuardia. Let's say you're going to take Delta shuttle from that. And I, by the way, I'm, I say Delta shuttle is amazing oh, boy. because all through the flight, you get free drinks and that includes alcohol. So nice. if you've never experienced Delta shuttle before, I implore you try Delta shuttle. Try Delta Shuttle from Arlington to Chicago. You will not be disappointed. Anyway, so let's say you are taking a flight to to uh, to MFF from uh, the DC metro area. You can take a flight from Arlington to Chicago via LaGuardia on Delta Shuttle. But to save you money, you can take a flight back to Baltimore and save like 50 bucks. And that's easily enough money to like take a Greyhound back from Baltimore to DC Union Station and still come out ahead. Oh yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, so definitely look at hacker fares from Kayak. I don't think uh I don't think Hotwire does hacker fares all that well. But um Definitely give that a try if you have the flexibility of flying from one airport and returning to another airport. A lot of people might be able to do that. A lot of people can't. So definitely look around you to see what's around you and see what kind of airports you can fly in and out of before you consider doing a hacker fare. But yeah, that's definitely an option that's available to you. That's a good travel. These, these are good travel tips. These yeah, really yeah, are. Totally, totally. Especially yeah. for people on a budget and yeah. who don't want to break um, the bank going to cons. And if you go to our Twitter at Furry Frequency, we will be tweeting about these websites and these tips so that you can definitely go to these websites and try this out for yourself. Um, again, it's at Furry Frequency, and we are here in the business of saving you money because we want furries to be happy when we when they listen to us and of course everybody's happy when they save money so here you go i know that's right yeah yeah so moving on silox what else is uh next on our agenda oh boy um i'm trying to think because i never you never typed the list out for me to to write down and look at there obviously Mersu controversy Mersu controversy yeah oh. if, you have, if you have more than one zipper in your fursuit get out pilot do you have more than one zipper in your fursuit <laughs> you can be honest nobody's going to listen to this he's not uh, wrong <laughs> He's not wrong. <laughs> no one's going to listen to this. I, I I didn't expect this to turn into like a furry confessional, but all right, here we go. Um, <laughs> Confess I, your sins, my child, to Father Lifty. Yeah, I mean, I have um, I have a zipper. Um, it's on my fursuit, and I use it to get in and out. And yeah, I have that too. Yeah, oh, see, yeah I have yeah, that that's too. Great. Yeah, that's great. Um, yeah, I mean, I never really checked down there to see if there's any more, but, you know, just, just going to assume that maybe, I don't know, probably not. But if they are there, then, you know, they're they're there secretly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, So, actually, secretly. <laughs> secretly, while, we are, yeah. while we are on the subject, Pilot... How about we talk about you for a minute because... Uh, oh, Lord. Yeah. I know you're our special guest. I know you're filling in for one of our hosts. But it's a good time to let our listeners know more about you and who you are. And uh, mm-hmm. what kind of furry you are in the furry community. A terrible one. But, yeah. Um, okay, so this is like this is going to be like a, uh, like a biography of the sorts. Okay, I'll keep it brief. Um, so, hi, my name's Pilot. I'm, hi, Pilot. Thank you. Um, 
Thank you, Lifty. Um, I wear a dog-shaped rug to these animal gatherings where I meet other manimals that are just like me. Um, other than that, I like to post really despicable things on Twitter. And when I mean despicable, they are horrible. And if you read them, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and let me think. Um, okay, something that's actually kind of serious. I like to DJ at furry cons. They are fun. Nice. nice. Yeah. So catch um, me at MFF this year, maybe. It's too early to tell. But it's... Have you ever DJed for the Baltimore Eagle during furry night? Um, I don't no if you ever did no i haven't um to be honest with you i've only been to the baltimore eagle like four or five times but certainly wouldn't have been wouldn't be opposed it's it's a really cool venue and you know once once we kind of establish ourselves as like the furry community in and the new owners approve of us and they start mm -hmm. setting up more furry nights with us yeah. then i'd probably put it in application that'd be a lot of fun oh yeah that'd be nice, nice. yeah See, I've never been to the Baltimore Eagle, so tomorrow will be a really eye-opening experience. Good, just yeah, I've actually never been either. I I keep saying I want to go, but I just never go. Yeah. Um, when I learned about the closing of the Baltimore Eagle, I was actually on a train to Baltimore. And I shit you not, I was making plans to attend the week after I learned mm -hmm. that the Baltimore Eagle shut down. It's always how it works. Yeah, I actually heard the uh, the news from Duke Doberman's Twitter, and I'm like, God damn it! I made plans. <laughs> I wanted to go that weekend for the very first time, and I now I can't. And uh, almost a year later, now I can. So I'm definitely going to take advantage of that next or tomorrow. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm sorry, the alcohol is kind of working its way into my take system. Take another drink. Ah, oh, goddamn! <laughs> Fuck! That's right. That's right. I got you. Shit! <laughs> oh. Hey, what are you going to be drinking at the Baltimore Eagle, Lifty? No drinking? comment. No comment? What? Not water? What else is there to drink? Water is good. Yeah, what do they have for $5 that's there? Do you know? I don't know. I've never been there. Oh, I, I thought I just said it earlier. Huh. I forget. <laughs> well, it's okay. I'll remind you sometime. Uh, just give me another... When does this podcast end? 30 minutes? Hour? I don't know. I, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> 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 We've only been on for an hour, technically. Has it been an hour? Wow. Time flies. Yeah, well, yeah it's coming up to an hour. Yep. Yeah. Yep. 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 Oh, good Lord. It's crazy to think about. Yeah, so I promised that I promised two hours for this podcast, and he did. We've only gone through it. And hour. I'm like, God damn why it. did you do that? I know. Why did I do that? You were drunk when you did that. Did you think that I was going to be like an hour interview or something? Like, hey, pilot, <laughs> t tell us about your life, and I'm going to be like, cool. No, so no, 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 no. Uh -huh. I was hoping this is our tenth episode, and it's a big event to be to have done this for ten episodes. Is this ten because, weeks or ten days? Um. Well, that's the funny thing is that we started our go. first three episodes, uh -huh. and our first three episodes actually were done here in our studio together, and it was kind of getting getting all three of us to excuse me. Oh God, I'm dying. Um. So getting all three of us to podcast at the same time in the same studio was very cumbersome. Oh, yeah. So we decided to take a hiatus to work on our infrastructure a bit. And that's when we decided to go on cast and do everything remotely. And so now when you hear our podcast, everything is done a lot more smoothly. Everything is edited out. Um, well, there is post-production on our podcast so that everything sounds better so that everything sounds more smoothly to edit out any imperfections any pregnant pauses what have you and also to add a very catchy intro tune <laughs> courtesy of silox <laughs> that intro is so cringy i swear 
Hey, it works. Yeah, I mean, if you want, we could Google some more rave music for an outro as well. Well, actually, for outros, we did send out an application for musicians for our last house segment. Um, unfortunately, we only had one person sign up for last house, and we already featured them as last house. So if you are a musician in the furry community and you would like your music to be heard here on Furry Frequencies, we implore you to go ahead and fill out an application for Last Howl submissions. Again, it's only one submission per application, and you can fill out the application multiple times. There is no limit to how many times you can fill out the application, but we do ask you to include one track Per application, I have one. Awesome. Can I can I send it your way? It's um, it, it's it's not made by me, but it's it's a great song. It's a zero zero nine sound system dreamscape, <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's royalty free too. So look at that; it's perfect for the podcast. Oh my god! I'm missing the joke here. <laughs> Early like of... two thousand four wow. YouTube, I think. Is that vaporwave? I mean, I'm I'm no, cool with vaporwave. If it's vaporwave, <laughs> it's I love not it. Vaporwave. No, it's the first wave, is what it is. <laughs> Number is one. Is it new retro wave? No, it's no. just the first wave. That's it. God damn it! I'm gonna send it to your uh, Telegram so you can you can listen to it or not on air, or you can play it on air even better. No, I'm gonna play it right now. Fuck it. Oh, and then wait. I'm gonna give you my my live thoughts as I'm listening. This is oh this I think I linked you to the long play one too oh eight minutes long oh god damn it I can't I don't have the t- patience for that bullshit listen to the first oh, wow. thirty seconds and actually probably the first ten seconds and you've heard the entire song <laughs> you've never I heard do that not song have before? enough acid in my system to listen to this crap oh sure you do it's a classic every like tutorial back in those days every had that yeah. yeah. Almost every AMV that was on YouTube, but there weren't really a whole lot of like anime music videos on, on oh, YouTube. Oh, God, back you're then. bringing back music. Well, the good news is that I'm listening to the trance while I'm <laughs> podcasting, so everything works out great. This is fantastic. Oh. And I'm grooving while I'm podcasting, so this is amazing. Welcome to 2019, my friend. Enjoy. No, this is 2004. Oh. What a crazy year. On. All I'm missing is some Xanax and <laughs> some glitter. Some absolutely fluorescent glitter. Say that word again. I don't even know what this guy is saying, but it's so groovy. Lifty, say that word again. What? Absolutely. Say that word again. What? Say, say what ab- word? Say absolutely again. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, now drop the L and the Y. Now say that word. Uh, no! <laughs> Fuck you! I know what you're trying to do. That's a good attempt. <laughs> what's he trying nice to make try, you say? Nice try, well, No, what's he trying to make you say? I don't know how to. By the way, whatever you were trying to say, that is crap. Lifty, you know what isn't crap? It is crap. You know what? You know what isn't crap? Do you really want to know? Don't you dare say Applebee's! I was going to say, I was going to say, United Airlines. Applebee's. Okay, we need to set up the disclaimer. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, one of our hosts here on Furry Frequencies has a an interest in United Airlines because they have stock in United Airlines. Therefore, their views on United Airlines are wow. are biased. I don't know who that person would be, but that sucks. We don't all know who it is. <sighs> Lifty, I'll tell you what. I will take you out to Applebee's, which I might remind you is the best restaurant to eat at. God in America. damn it! <laughs> Every single episode, you keep on fucking shilling for that fucking Applebee's. Me. Every <laughs> single episode. <laughs> at this point, I do it to piss Lifty off more than anything. It's hilarious. God damn Damn it, Silox! <laughs> you and your goddamn Applebee's. <laughs> and yet, Applebee's you thing? won't even fucking go to IHOP, even though they're the fucking same thing. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, those are those fighting are words. Fight, yeah, those are fighting words, man. Don't, don't, they don't. are the same company. Absolutely I swear not. to God. Serious? No, they're not. They're yes, owned they by are. different people. Yeah, they don't yes, own. they are. Applebee's oh, doesn't make pancakes. <laughs> they make pancakes at IHOP. That's why. Yeah, I know, but, oh, they, but they don't make pancakes <laughs> at Applebee's, so they can't be the same company. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm going to slap both of you with the truth right now. Give me a minute. Okay. Uh, he's going to bring, uh, bring up luck. the chance. Uh. I'm going to bring up the Wikipedia. That's what. Oh, You're okay. going to use Wikipedia of all places. Okay. Okay. Here you go. <laughs> cool can't spell Wikipedia I-hop. without wicked. <laughs> IHOP, initialism for International House of Pancakes, <laughs> is an American multinational pancake house restaurant okay. chain. That specializes in breakfast foods. Don't read it's owned intro. by Please. Dine Brands Global, a company formed after IHOP's purchase of Applebee's. Wait, hold on. No, you looked up you the see? wrong restaurant. It's IHOP. So type in IHOP and then look on the Wikipedia. Don't for that. you? No. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> Don't swear to God. Swear to me. <laughs> it goes to the same thing, that. Lifty, how do you feel about Herndon? I just knew I shouldn't ask that. Shut up! <laughs> Herndon doesn't exist to me! Got that? Sure it does. Herndon's, no! Oh, Herndon's a great place. Funny. Do you know what they have there? They have... They they're t- They have nothing! Their city hall is built on a railroad. That There couldn't be anything more American than that. You know what? You know what they need? I do know what. But they need what. a they, they need a train to railroad their fucking... City Hall, then. <laughs> wow, that was smooth. Smooth, champ, smooth. Don't judge me. <laughs> There's no judgment. Just <laughs> judgment. Applebee's and IHOP are practically the same thing. But they're the not only the, same. Thing, the only difference is, is that IHOP is like Applebee's for breakfast. And yet, Silox hates I- IHOP. Why? But he doesn't. But he. But he doesn't hate Applebee's. Because Applebee's is the best restaurant in the world. That's why they're the same it. fucking company. They're run by the same fucking people. They're both kind of depressing in a way. Because if you add like the letters C R in front of both of them, it makes something horrible like Crapplebee's and Cryhop. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why I call IHOP Dohi. Wait, like you ever look at you ever look at do, you look up, you ever look at IHOP upside down? It spells Dohi. Sounds like you're like a very slow Doha. Shrek trying well, to pronounce uh, donkey. What? It sounds like you're Shrek trying to pronounce donkey. No, <laughs> no. Look at Dohi. IHOP. No, no, no. Look at IHOP upside down. It's Dohi. <laughs> Oh, wow. I lost track of the <laughs> stuff that I was doing. Why? Are you very drunk right now? No. Really? Uh, yeah. You Maybe sure? I'm, I, I'm feeling very groovy right now. Are you? Okay. Yeah. Take, take yeah. another. No. Why not? No. Because you can't force me to do anything. I'm not going to force you to do anything. I'm, I'm no, making no, no. a uh, kind suggestion. Maybe you should uh, you know, just do another. Peer pressure never this, killed you. How how long is this trance track exactly? How, how are you still <laughs> listening to it? Jeez. Good God. <laughs> Good God, it's gone on for seven minutes. Yeah, I think it's like Why eight are you minutes still long. Listening to that. I don't know. It's the same fucking thing. We'll just looped over and over and over again for the past seven minutes. I told you, you listen to the first ten seconds, you listen to the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, but uh, fucking hell. Okay, I gotta shut this off. Did you hear the vocals in it though? <laughs> I can't even understand the vocals. I mean, what are they singing in Finnish? I don't know. I don't think Swedish? so. Swedish? Hold on, let me go look up the lyrics. I don't know. I can't understand that shit. Oh shit! They do have lyrics. Hold on. What is lyrics? You, your, don't not wraith. What? Yeah, that's not English. That's fucking Norwegian or some shit. Hell, it might as well be Russian for all I care. Oh no! It was no. No, that's not it. It's just, it's literally the same thing. It's, um, you, you can do anything you want to. You can do anything. Speaking of you can do anything you want to, I have to go pee. 
So give me a minute. Okay. Oh, Lord. All right, time to talk shop about him. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, last time he did that, he legitimately peed into his sound isolation booth, and it was the most weirdest thing ever. I, I don't. I mean, uh, I like water sports to an extent, but that's just <laughs> that's next level. Yeah, no, he shouldn't have alcohol. <laughs> No. Just like I shouldn't have alcohol. Yeah, One shot that. and I'm like done for like the entire night. I'm not I'm not like a lightweight, but I just when I presented alcohol, I mean my first response is just yes. And then someone will mention something as like an objection, be like, but but pilot, you're at work and then I'll look at it and sadly say no. But if I'm not at work, I'll look at it and say yes, but louder. And then it happens. Okay, so good news is that I actually went in the toilet this time. Oh, the bad news yes. is I missed. Lifty. Yes. I sent you something on your on Telegram. <laughs> I want you to click it and listen to that. <laughs> What's it say? No. Okay. Why? I want to know what it says. My daddy. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it didn't matter. <laughs> You're intentionally sad. Please. Oh, yeah. You're he said, We all have something. He asked me. To leave. <laughs> and he tried to <laughs> instill that in me. Okay, Tiger. Let's, uh... Okay, enough of this crap. I don't listen to country. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get yeah, you to say that word. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you're trying it. very hard, but... Oh, yeah, I'm going to get you to you're, say it. You're not getting me. You're to say what? Me. To say what? I'm going to drink some water. Water is great. Water is awesome for hydration. Ladies and gentlemen, please make sure that you are drinking at least eight glasses of water a day because dehydration is a real thing. And yeah, it's not uh, healthy. You're not my dad. I'll yeah, do whatever but, I want. So. But like, what would classify as like a glass of water? How many ounces? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. It's a great effort. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know who drank out of this bottle before me, but I'm drinking out of it now. Ew. Oh, wow. Um, you should listen to some more 009 Soundscape Dream. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Dreamscape, because it's a fucking great song. Pilot, are you consuming any potent potables tonight? I am. Um, I'm drinking this thing that starts with B and ends with an ER, which hopefully I won't end up in the ER, but I haven't drank that much. Ah, yeah. I had my big drinking night last night. Um, there's this old group of noble men that <laughs> were a part of a, a shitty server on Team Fortress 2 called uh, TFP or the Furry Pound. Don't know if you guys ever played Team Fortress 2, but no. um, we used to get drunk. And there's like this drinking game where if you add asterisks in your name on the server, it would engage a drinking mode game where like it would say every time you die to a certain weapon and say, Hey, take two drinks or it'd say, Hey, take a shot of this. And you get blitzed by the, by the first like 40 minutes of playing this game. Um, and so like all of my friends after years and years of not playing miraculously, we all got it at the same time without any prompt whatsoever and started playing this drinking game. And we were just, I was murdered last night. <laughs> oh Jesus. Yeah. Your liver hated you. Uh -huh. Yeah. Pretty sure if you cut my my uh, liver open, um, you can actually see rings for all of the mistakes I've made. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Kind of like cutting open you, a tree. You poor Shep. I know. <laughs> I you really hate your Shep. liver. <laughs> I'm a really, really poor Shep. Now, I've actually been brought up to something that's actually worthwhile to talk about. Um, anybody know who this first suitor is called Gauss Hyena? Yes. He's yes, awesome. he is an he is an adorable yin. 
And on Fursuit Friday, on the 3rd of May, he introduced a bot to Telegram that actually will generate every single GIF that he has ever made <laughs> in suit. So now you can annoy your friends with Gauss Hyena GIFs. And the uh, Telegram GIF is, or the Telegram bot is at Gauss GIF bot. Again, that's at Gauss GIF bot. We will retweet the, the link that Gauss actually offered on his Twitter. We're going to retweet that in our Twitter so you can um, join in the shenanigans as well. But he's got some really, really awesome GIFs in that GIF bot. I've been I've been spamming his gifts all over the place because I love that I love that Ian. I want to hug that Ian and nuzzle him. Are you about I'm to sorry. do some like verbal role play right now? Like I, I'm, I'm sorry if that feels if that I'm sorry if that sounds very creepy, but it does. I I really do I really do like that Ian very very much. He's one of my first two crushes. Hey, can I can, hold on? Silox, can mm -hmm. um, let's let's do some role play here. All right, I'll start. Um, okay. Asterisks. You always want to make sure you include that, by the way. The asterisks. It's important to know that we're actually role playing instead of just talking. So, asterisks sniffs you, realizing that it is indeed his mate, creeping up to you slyly, rubbing his Cheeto dust encrusted fingers upon your chest, burrs and shits. <laughs> Asterisk, hello, Silox. Asterisk, oh, Mer. Asterisk, hello there. <laughs> this is so cringy. <laughs> asterisk, asterisk, that's my first. I don't know you. Asterisk, kicks you in the crotch. Asterisk, asterisk, runs away. Done. Do dollar sign. <laughs> 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 asterisks lurks on your twitter and hits unfollow and then follows again hoping that you'll notice him asterisk hey when are you going to play my child support Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, yikes how about never <laughs> Joke <laughs> jokes on you i have no children oh uh, that you know of what? Hey, buddy! Yeah, you know you should do. Know. You should check. You should check hey, some wait, upstate wait, wait, New York. That, 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 that is a needle scratch moment. If I ever saw one, heard one. I mean, yeah. you might have kids. You you don't know. I don't want to have kids. I check. I don't want to know. To make sure I don't have. I do kids. not want to know that I have kids. Like I do not want to like hear from some thought that um. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. That I don't even remember. Ask him to be me. Like saying, yeah. saying, hey, where's my child support? Like, bitch. <laughs> you paid me at <laughs> oh MFF or whatever, like, three years ago. And now this kid needs needs diapers and shit. And I'm like, bitch, the child is three. Go ahead and fucking potty train the fucking bitch all of a sudden. Oh, God wow. damn it. Jeez, this just got violent. <laughs> I don't know her. <laughs> that no, you clearly do. This no, is not, I don't. This is not a Bill Cosby moment where everyone's coming up and being like, "Oh yeah, like that happened." No, there's this one person very credibly coming up to you saying, "Like yeah, you need to pay child support." Like we had yeah, a kid. No, yeah. no, 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 no. Hey, here's you know how what? it goes. Uh huh. I'm if listening. A lady comes up to me and says, "Hey, this child is yours. Pay up." No. What I'm gonna do is, mm -hmm. hey, bitch, let's go. To <laughs> Jeez, I hope you don't call her. <laughs> <laughs> let's go to Maury and let's settle this once Maury. and for all. And oh, uh, no. when he says, when he says, Lifty, you are not the father. I'm just gonna be like fucking backflipping over the entire, on uh, over the entire. <laughs> Yes. Uh, audience, <laughs> and then just walk straight the fuck out. Oh, jeez. Because nowadays, now that is that child is her responsibility, not mine, and I have nothing to do with it. Fuck it. So 
What would the kid's name be? I'm. The kid's name would be Abu. For all I give a shit, I don't care. That's a weird name. Yeah. Well, you know what? I have a real, I have a weird name too, and I'm in the process of changing it too. So when he turns eighteen, he can do the same thing. <laughs> hey, you know what? Is your name gonna be Lifty? Yeah. What? Yeah, he should be you like Lifty, name, Lifty Lifty Junior, like Little Lifty. Yeah. He should be Little Lifty. I don't. No, he's not Lifty Junior. No, he should be Little Lifty. <laughs> Maury just said that child <laughs> is not. I'm not the father of that child, so fuck him. Yeah, but just think how much power he that has. Would absolutely be if you nothing came to do with me, so I have nothing to do with him. Yeah, but just think about it. Like after he's no. like, you're not the you're not the father. Just come back no. and be like, yeah, but his name is Little no. Lifty because that's what I said. No. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Why not? Because Maury just said, and he did the testing. <laughs> he did the DNA testing. Maury just said, "Wow, I am not the father." So guess what? I can walk the fuck out of that studio and not give a shit about what's happening behind me. Good God. And I'd be walking out like a boss. I'm 90% sure that they don't do any DNA testing in fucking Maury. Of all I things. don't think they do. <laughs> Maury <laughs> is the golden standard of DNA testing nowadays, oh, thanks to gosh. white trash. Yeah, the FBI just picks up the phone and says, <laughs> Special Agent Ted, Maury, I need an expert. We need you in the office right here at fucking Langley ASAP. Except, except the, Langley. FBI, the, the FBI wouldn't be in Langley. So Who? They'd be in downtown. Where Minnesota. are you? I don't know. What if what if they're working out of a different office for a different agency or something? I don't know. It could be there, it could be certain circumstances that bring them all together. That's what being in DC is. It's being no, clusterfucked no, 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 by a bunch no, of different no, agencies. No, 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 no. See, you're doing it wrong. Mm-hmm. First of all, if they are if they are looking for a federal agency to do important shit, mm-hmm. they are not going to call on Langley or McLean or all these other McLean. non-cities. Whatever, they're gonna go up to somebody Wait. and say, "Hey, We're I am." Like... No, 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 no. They're gonna oh, call and say, "Hey, God. we are from the Mari Povich show. We need to do DNA testing, and they're gonna call someone in Arlington that oh, matters." Lord. You mean the Pentagon? All like, yes, they're gonna call the Pentagon. <laughs> they and they're gonna DNA do testing. this. They're gonna they do this do shit that. right. Yeah, they okay, don't do DNA they're testing. gonna call somebody that matters. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I can see it now. Fucking Maury is a uh, not only a DNA tester by day, but a <laughs> fucking defense hilarious. contractor by night. Yeah, that's totally how that works. You totally don't know who Maury is. You totally, totally don't know who Maury is. <laughs> you know what? Let me tell you a thing or two about a thing or two, bub. Oh, wow. <laughs> Lifty, please don't have kids. That, that's <laughs> just something I don't want to see. Not planning on it. But I'm at, I'm telling you, if I ever do, she's going to Maury. Oh gosh! So when you purposely, like purposefully, like <laughs> impregnate a woman, right? Like with well, the intention different. of having that's, a kid. No, 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 no. no that's nope. different. No, we're gonna we're not gonna backtrack here. We're gonna move forward because backtrackers are fucking quitters, and you sound like a quitter right now. So here's what we're doing. We're gonna back on track. So when you purposely impregnate a woman with the intention of consensually having a child with her, you are then going to take that child and be like. That ain't mine. We're going to go test on Maury right now. Is that your plan? <laughs> no, that's different. No, what do you mean that's different? How, how is that any oh, different? I, ha- I, have have a, I do have a pregnancy fetish. You have a pregnancy what? fetish? Are you, do you serious? Have a, do, you have, yes. do you have a male yes. pregnancy fetish? Kind of. Call me. Whoa. What? What? Yes. Y'all in some weird stuff, man. I don't, I don't judge. Know what you're ta- I don't know what you're talking about. Just, I'm just, I don't either. I'm just a dog. Oh shit! <laughs> I spilled. I spilled all of it on the fucking table. God damn it! I need Wait, to get spilled what? I need to get a table. What? <laughs> I, need a table. I need to get. I need to get a, a a towel. Excuse me for a second. Wait, what did you spill? He spilled alcohol <laughs> next to the electronics on the table. Did you really? Oh my lord! Are you still drinking that sea mist? Oh, he left. <laughs> oh man. Oh. That poor soul. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna have sex with a lady, consensually of course. And, you know, when the time is right, 
he's going to be like, that's not mine. <laughs> and let's go on Mori to prove it. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, oh, boy. I can't handle this right now. Is, is this real Okay, life? so I tried to make a miscible <laughs> mixture of two substances, and I tried to pour from one big hole to a small hole, and that did not work. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't course, understand that's, anything that is, you said. That, that, that's a big no-no in chemistry unless you're, like, pouring into a funnel. Wait, so what were you trying to mis- pour? Stuff. No, tell me. What is it? <laughs> so I was trying to pour a potent potable into a, a bottle potent of... potent potable... <laughs> So I was trying to pour a potent potable into a bottle of flat potable with what is a no potent potable. Well, anyway, so I was trying to pour <laughs> no, no, a potent no, potable. No, no, no. Anyway, you got to describe what this is. Yeah. This, so I was trying to pour some CH three CH two OH into what? a bottle of of uh, fermented stuff with oh. Jesus. Oh, you just said fermented. Take a drink. Ah, god damn it. <laughs> Uh, it's Listen, not actually... What is that um, chemical chain that you just mentioned? What is that? Explain that to me. Yeah. What, what, what is that? Lame that, terms? That, that? That's ethanol. That's okay. ethanol. Yeah, that, okay. That's derived from corn, actually. Oh, we know that. Yeah. I, I would well, hope. What more do you that. want? What do you use ethanol for? Um, fuel. What else? Like, actually, we mix it into fuel so that it burns. So um, there's there's less of fossil fuels that you're burning. So it burns. Well, actually, when it comes to <laughs> when it comes to like small engines, ethanol is actually not very good for small engines because it uh, is it good for people. Kind of. Kind of. Would yeah, you it causes, consume it? It's the only it's the only one of that group of, of, uh, of organic compounds that is possible to consume. You are not going to win this battle. You are, you are battling a chem major. Uh-huh. You are not going to win this. <laughs> okay. I know exactly what you're doing. You are not going to win. Uh, hey, uh, hey. I don't know. I'm a crafty salesperson, so since I'm a sales creature, we're pretty good about getting anything out of. Hey, know. I'm a PR major, okay? So, well, you I, just said I you're work a chem in, major. Yeah, I'm a chem. Well, no, actually, I'm a CVS major now. But you're a C- I did, you majored in CVS drugstores? That's awesome. No, <laughs> fucking hell. Tell I me majored more. in computational and data science, but before then, I majored in chemistry. So you're not going to win this. I mean. Yeah. You don't know that. Do you know what I majored in? It was conflict resolution. So, so wasn't there like wasn't there like an anime called like Hugo the Negotiator? I have no idea. That's is that really what you do? Specific. Well, I, I am a negotiator by trade. So, yeah, I guess I I turned conflict resolution into sales and negotiation, which is you know still third party dispute resolution. So, awesome. But even more oh so, my God. it means I'm, that I'm slithery, and it means I'm going to make you say that word. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm going through the DMV first chat, and I'm seeing some very disturbing things. First of all, they're transposing the face of the Pikachu from the uh, the Detective Pikachu movie onto Sonic. You're just Sonic. seeing that now. I'm just seeing that now. They're transposing the face that was from the posted Detective an hour Pikachu ago. To Onto Sonic, and they're transposing the Sonic face onto Detective Pikachu. I'm like, <laughs> That's oh amazing. Oh my god, this is, this is, no, this is creepy. No, this is awesome. I'm looking at it right now. Are you talking about the Nova first group chat or DMV? DMV. Oh, okay. I'm starting to lose face in DMV. Is that the one that uh, Kaito's running? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm losing a lot of faith in DMV. Why are you losing faith? Because the mods there have here double standards. They have no standards. And, well, here, here, here's what I say about <laughs> double standards, okay? Oh, uh-huh. God. Don't get political. When it comes to double standards, the furries have one standard, really. If they don't have double standards, they have no standards. <laughs> what? Uh-huh. That's what I believe in. What do you, wait, hold on. Let and me ask you a question. DMV furs, DMV furs, and how they're moderated uh-huh. is a very big example of if they don't have double oh, standards, wow. they have no standards. How do you how do you align yourself politically? Because I view myself as chaotic neutral. Center right. Center right. Center right. 
<laughs> center right. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Like I don't. I, I'm not very thrilled with Donald Trump as a president. <laughs> Most people aren't, man. Oh goodness, we should not get political. <laughs> not with no, no, no. no. I, I, I'm, just... I'm not thrilled with Donald Trump as president because he's really stumbled in a lot of places. I'm not going to get into big detail about that, but everybody's kind of aware of where he stumbled. But at the same time, I'm not going to align with Democrats and the the liberal left because they've gone off the deep end, in my view. And then you got DMV First Chat that's that's run by one communist and three (laughs) leftists that just don't care about what he does. Lifty, he's not a communist. (laughs) Daz is a communist. I don't think he's a communist, man. He is a communist. Oh, gosh. He's not he a does, communist. He, he will not care if you call him a communist. He, he will take it as a term of endearment. Oh, you sweet summer child. Oh, boy. Hell, Sammy is a communist. I'm ready to call him out right now. No, he's an... He's, he's no, I don't care. I do not care. Man. He's yeah, he's a, he needs to he's get the like fuck out. He's just he's like a troll. Yeah. He he's needs to get the troll. fuck out. <laughs> if he's a troll, he needs to get the fuck out. <laughs> Lifty, calm down. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. from fucking New York City. He's never gonna visit this area again. Whoa, Fuck whoa, it. whoa! What do you say about New York City, huh? <laughs> I've only been to New York City once, while switching planes in in LaGuardia, uh-huh. because I took the Delta shuttle. Yeah, uh-huh. and I was and I was drunk as shit already because of course you were. Drinks are free on Delta shuttle. No, they ain't. Yeah, they are. Seventeen dollars a pop in New York City. Oh hell no! no oh hell yes! Shuttle. Oh no! All you drinks don't know. are free on Delta Shuttle. You don't know my city. Fuck that! Hey, what are you, some kind of jet ski jabroni? Get out of here! Forget about it. Hey, your mother should have slapped you when you was younger. This is great, man. Your mother was the father, man. Fuck that! Your father was a bagal. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one species of tiger that is still actively roaming New York City. It's the bagal tiger. <laughs> Don't even laugh at that. That was horrible. <laughs> it's just, no, no, no. I, I'm from upstate New York. I know a little bit of New York. You're joke. from upstate New York? Yeah. I'm from the Bronx. I'm from, no, no, no. I'm from uh, West, um, Watertown. You're from Bragg. Westminster. No, no, no. no, Not not Westminster. Watertown. Like up there. You mean like Waterworld? You mean like that shitty 80s movie? No, no, no. <laughs> Fort Bragg. <laughs> the coldest base in the continental United States. They do cold weather testing in Fort Bragg. Your and mother should have cold weather tested on you when you was younger. Hey! <laughs> Fuck you! Hey, don't make promises you can't keep, you mook. Yeah, he ain't gonna keep that promise. <laughs> Knowing him. Hey, you morp, get down here and talk to me like that in my face, damn it. <laughs> this is so amazing. <laughs> you know what? I um, My friend and I... While we were in Cancun, Mexico, like literally getting as, as as drunk as I will ever willingly admit I've ever been in my life, um, we for whatever reason picked up a New York accent while we were over there, and it got to the point that we were saying it to literally everyone, including ourselves in our off time. Uh, we were saying it to taxi cab drivers that couldn't speak a lick of English. We were saying it just at any given opportunity until we actually like told ourselves we're like we need to stop this. But when we said it to each other, we're like we need to stop this right now. It's it's it's, it's important that we get this stopped. You know what I mean? And so then you know we freaked out, but we eventually embraced this right. And so while we were in Cancun, we wrote a bunch of really shitty restaurant reviews spoken entirely in a New York accent, written by uh, like like. A hardcore Italian, right? So we we um we actually rated Hooters. Um, we did a review for Hooters in Cancun, Mexico. Breaking news: Psylocke sent me a picture two minutes ago huh? of a guy's penis <clears throat> and his whoa, foot. Whoa, 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 whoa! That is not for you. Sorry. I just saw it. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't meant for you. You can ignore that. Oh jeez. Whose who's dick was that? Don't worry about it, man. That's whose foot you. was that? <laughs> No. That was a different dick on a different foot. <laughs> don't worry Somehow about it. Somehow they were fused on the same body. Uh, I don't know what was going on You're there. You're so under the influence of beverages at the moment. You're seeing things, man. So, yeah. The only thing I'm under the influence of is life. And it <laughs> That's is deep. glorious. That is deep. So, <laughs> Psylocke's Hi. Pandora's box is opened. 
you must speak about the inside of what it contained. Of what contained? That image. Um. Okay. Someone wanted me to send some some porn to them, so I'm was like, okay, yeah, have some porn, and I. That wasn't porn of you. Of course not. I'm not that sexy. So, um, yeah. You're devaluing yourself. Then. I don't That's basically my life in general. I the, saw your penis. Um, no comment. No, you didn't. You were drunk, man. <laughs> I saw Fuck. your penis. Damn it. You have to value your penis. You have a nice penis. Yeah, value your penis. Take it out to a nice dinner sometime. <laughs> this is so cringy. <laughs> this is <God>. so bad. <laughs> Stop over. Well, ahead. you you brought this on yourself because oh. you showed me that penis. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I need to comment about this penis on my on my, on my desktop. To. Yes, I have to because it's on my desktop. Oh my god. Oh, you are so special. Never change. Never change. I have to pee again. I'm gonna send you guys some dick. Give me a second. Well, go use the bathroom and I don't know. Have fun. No, pilots. No, pilots about to send us some penis. So I, I gotta wait for that. Um, I don't. Yeah, think it's no, the I'm gonna, I don't want to be you... rude and ignore his penis. No, I'm gonna send some dick. <laughs> just, just calm down. It's dick, really penis, same thing. Not quite. <laughs> what the hell are these sluts talking about in DMV first chat? This is bullshit. They're talking about you. Sorry, it's taking no. it's taking me like a full minute. Okay. Summer Cat is is running his mouth about bullshit, and I'm like, <laughs> all right, Silox, you first. I am not even inebriated enough to make sense of anything he says. Right <laughs> all right, Lifty, do you like it from that angle, Lifty, or do you like my dick from that angle? That's fucking Dick Cheney. I no, it's that. not Dick Cheney. That's my dick. Thanks. I hate it. <laughs> I hate both of it. No, describe describe him for for our audience. What what is what does my dick look like? Angry. It, it looks angry. Disgruntled. <laughs> it's the same as angry. Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Constipated. Whoa! You think my dick is constipated? <laughs> you think I got kidney stones or some shit? <laughs> yes. My dick does not have kidney stones. He, he is just had his down. colonoscopy too. No, he is on a podium and he looks like he's passing a kidney stone. <laughs> That's pretty much dick. In the middle honest. of a speech, he looks like he's passing a kidney stone. Oh, wow. I like how his face in both of those pictures looks like someone told him, like, hey, Dick, when you're talking to this audience, try to talk with just one side of your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe. No, no, no. Be, be courteous. Maybe he had a stroke in the middle of a speech. I mean, that would explain a lot, but... Yeah, that would. That would. That would. Well, that would explain a lot in the first picture, not so much in the second picture. Like, in the second picture, he just looked like he's passing a kidney stone. Salas, do not say the N-word online, okay? I said mute the mic. What are you talking why am about? I getting, why am I getting porn of somebody shitting a brick? What? What are you talking about? I didn't even see a word. Oh wait, no, the they, 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 they. Hold on a minute. They are shitting a suitcase with a dragon in it. And you are what? too drunk, my friend. Hold on. What does it say? <laughs> you are so drunk. I'm trying to read this porn. Hold on a minute. Hey. You can walk. Who and what are you? I'm. I'm Laura. Trish. <laughs> Third Ryzen Maiden Doll Desu or Summoning. Oh. Are you looking at manga, Lifty? What are you doing? I don't fucking know what I'm looking at. Hold on. I'm going to send it to the chat. Maybe you can decipher what I can oh, decipher. Oh, boy. I don't know if I can handle this. This is something else. As lo you know what? At least he's not yet laughing about Barbara Wexton or whatever the fuck her name is or Virginia. It's fine. Yeah, who the fuck is she? Don't worry about it, man. It's not. I don't know. I don't know who this thought is. Who? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Barbara Wexton uh, doesn't exist, so yeah, this made her up. Oh, this is some really hot porn. You just made up Barbara <laughs> Streisand.
lifty. <laughs> there's nothing yeah. hot about this <laughs> at all. Yeah, there's literally nothing. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about this. Hold on. Oh, my God. Oh, no. I need alcohol. God fucking hell. There you go. I'm talking about that. That's hot. So I'm trying to understand what this is. It looks like Black Chitara is trying to fuck a dot hack sign character um, who is trying to suck the cock of Farah from Overwatch. No, yeah. what, I understand what are you right? No, I'm what the hell are you looking at? Look at this. I'm looking at two men just shitting in a barrel. That's I hot. I don't think that's straight porn. That's like... Their dicks don't even look like dicks. They look like obelisks. They look like the fucking <laughs> Washington <laughs> Monument. Well, they're Egyptian, so it makes sense. <laughs> God bless. Okay, Lifty. <laughs> that's what you think. <laughs> God, do we even... What's the topic now? It's just... Listen to Lifty say weird shit. That's fine. I don't. I don't that. know. I don't know. We lost track of. Uh, we lost track after we um, we talked about uh, furry tips. Uh, uh, furry <laughs> tips on something. I, I I don't remember. You know, if I had furry drama to report, I would bring it up. But there's no drama. So go look on Twitter. I, there is God. tons of furry drama on furry Twitter, I swear it's, to God. I value my mental capacity. Thank you very much. I'm not about to go down that rabbit hole. Good Lord. Were we talking about Gauss and uh, yes. his gift bot? Yes, how you have a crush on him, yeah. Yes. <laughs> He's one of my fursuit crushes. That's what's up. Name all your fursuit crushes right now. Okay. Um, Duke Doberman. Okay. Gauss Hyena. Uh-huh. Um, pack of nines. Okay, so it's not like a first you crush. That's more. Hold like on a minute. A I've got bag. one more. I've got one more. Uh-huh. <laughs> Whose name I can't remember. Oh wow. Fuck! I can't remember. Oh, Rorik. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. It's adorable. Yeah. I'm sorry, pilot. Why are you sorry? <laughs> because I didn't name you as a first suit crush. Oh, I know it's implied. <laughs> but seriously, I'm gonna cry now. You ever see? You ever see a grown dog cry? <sighs> God damn it! Oh, wow. I knew this was gonna be a very touchy subject. It's this really has touchy. Been so great. This wasn't <laughs> baited or anything. I just wanted to know honestly. I'm going to go pee again. One, one minute. Gosh, that is a, a fucking non secure like, fucking oh, shit segue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I like how he went, like, straight from, like, hey, like, I'm sorry, pilot. You weren't the one. And, like, here, you have a first yeah. two Silox. How do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. I, I'm going to have to start getting him drunk. A lot more. That's hilarious. He yeah, says the strangest shit. He really does. I should start probably start wrapping it up on my end too, since it's getting later. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I didn't even realize late. the time. I can't give him the pleasure now of running for two hours and see the, <laughs> said that bullshit. No. <laughs> oh. Well, no, thank you for coming on. No, that's great. Um, I actually didn't think we were going to do anything tonight because I was going to be busy up in Baltimore for suiting, and he wanted to go see Endgame, and I was like, oh, okay, I guess we're not podcasting. But he sends me a message as soon as I get back, hey, we're about to podcast. I'm like, oh, fuck, we're actually doing that. Oh, yeah. I better get ready. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Were you up there with uh, Chatta and all them too? Yes, yes, it was great. Sweet. Yeah, I wish I could have made it up to that uh, earlier, but I, I had, like, the most bullshit, unproductive day ever. <laughs> it was really bad. So I told myself, Okay, like, so should I pour another 25-milliliter <laughs> flask of ethanol? Yes. Do what also, you want, man. Also, you have to take country. a drink at this point. <laughs> no. Yeah, you do. No, I didn't say anything. No, you did. Oh, I'm doing scientific wow. studies you said on ethanol. ethanol. Oh, I'm doing a di- I'm doing a digestion reaction on ethanol. You know what I'm doing right now? You're masturbating. No. 
Yeah. Gosh. Are you sure? Like, it comes in like an hour from now. Shut up. You don't know my schedule. Aww. You don't know me. Pilot, you make a great sharky. Just throwing that out there. Thank you. I, that doesn't mean, I'm that happy doesn't to be mean your third wheel. That doesn't mean we are replacing Sharky with you. I hope not. I don't even know the guy. I feel I would not want to replace someone I don't even know, nor would I want to replace someone I did know, unless they consented. I don't know where I'm going with this. Yeah. Consent is beautiful. It is. Furry Frequencies is a podcast that totally respects consent in all forms. And in all transactions. I would hope I don't so. Know, I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. We know. But yeah, we do value and respect <laughs> consent. That's all we want to say. Hey, um, Lifty, guess what? What's that? Chicken butt. Ah. Uh, <laughs> the old chicken butt joke. Beautiful. I know. It's gorgeous. Oh, shit. I want to wrap this up. No. <laughs> We're going to wrap this up, okay, Lifty? In other local news... <laughs> <laughs> Lifty, we should wrap it up. <laughs> We're approaching an hour now. No, 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 no. In think. local news, oh, a charter airline, Miami Air, what? actually had to take an emergency landing after having a hard landing in Jacksonville, um, taking a charter flight from Cuba. Um, they had to take an emergency landing in the river across the, across from the runway. Uh, there were 21 uh, cash. Well, actually, no. There were 21 injuries. But fortunately, no one died. There were no fatalities in this crash. And we want to thank the pilots of this flight for actually being calm and collective and actually having the skills to land the plane mostly intact into the river um, during the during this harrowing process and actually diminishing the loss of life what? in this very, very <laughs> scary flight. Did anyone die? No, nobody died. Then that's a hundred percent diminishment of loss of life right there. Congratulations. Absolutely. This is amazing. It is. Especially since it, the, uh, the flight, the, the aircraft involved was a 737 800 it wasn't a 737 MAX, which would guarantee that... Uh, yeah, I just got to unplug this Okay. okay. Uh, which would guarantee that the uh, that it would only be flying for roughly eight, eight minutes. That's what the eight stands for in MAX 8. It's just maximum of eight minutes flying time. What? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, Lifty. Um uh, but it's getting late, and I know people have to go to bed, and they have stuff to do tomorrow. So I think we should wrap this show up. Yeah, okay. wrap it up, wrap it tight. Okay, <laughs> well, first of all, we would like to thank our special guest, Pilot, for being on this podcast for this evening. Thank you very much, Pilot, Thanks for, for joining us join. in, our, in our wacky antics. Yeah, it was fun. On Furry Frequencies. Now, if you like what you're hearing on Furry Frequencies, please follow us on Twitter at Furry Frequency. And also make sure that you subscribe to our channel on YouTube at Furry Frequency. And hit that bell for notifications anytime we have a new episode up so that you'll be first in line to hear our new episodes as they come out. Anything else you'd like to add, Mr. Silox? Um, no, um, thank, once again, thank you, Pilot, for joining us on such short notice to fill in for Sharky. Um, we really appreciate that. Um, oh, why don't you go ahead and plug your social media information as well? Yeah, if anybody wants to follow you on Twitter or Telegram or wherever, 
where would we be following you? All right. So if you want to follow my main account, it's at Joe Biden. Um, for my After Dark <laughs> account, um, it is at Shep Butt. So it's, you know, German Shepherd, but Shep Butt. That's where you're going to find me. So that is at Shep Butt, the- at D E P P E L K U P P E L G E. Oh my god. G. I, T. I lost what you were spelling like R- 5 years ago. I <laughs> E B Okay. Um, e. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, champ. You spelled something correctly. Um <laughs> Did you mention the <laughs> So yeah, for, if you want to follow <laughs> Pilot, um his for his Twitter account is at @shepbutt that's pretty much it. I don't really use YouTube a whole lot, but you know, yeah. if I do that, you'll probably find that on my Twitter too. But thank awesome, you guys awesome. for having me. It is awesome. Yes. Looking forward awesome to the next time when we have our. It shark is awesome friend that join us. you were able to inc- to come by and regale us with your voice and your insight and your uh, lewdness. Bark. I'm a dog. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> I am also a doggo. I'm a husky. Anyway. <laughs> That's so random. <laughs> All right, let's anyway, end the damn episode. <laughs> yes, thank you. Well, anyway, this is uh, Furry Frequencies signing off. We hope you enjoy your evening. Thank you for listening, and have a great night. Good night, everybody. Good night, Boston. Good night, D.C. Good night, Panama City, Florida. Good night, Chicago. No, no one wishes them a good night. There's good night, good. San Francisco. That's even worse. We're in this now.